common question among all humans is what happens after death? And this is something that we don't know or we don't know yet. And we see this in ancient Egypt, a desire to enable a more effective communication between the humans and the gods. Throughout history, throughout different cultures, we see a common concern for the afterlife. And the ancient Egyptians concerned themselves with life after death. They want to travel to the hereafter. But in order to do so, you need to pass a judgment before Osiris. There, their heart would be weighed against the feather of Ma'at. And so she represents the way things ought to be. But the heart needs to be in line and balance with the feather of Ma'at, with order, with justice. You could then transcend and continue on into the afterlife. If your heart was too heavy or too light when, when weighed against the feather of Ma'at, you could be devoured by the devourer. And this was a creature that would sit right next to the balance. This was part hippo, part lion, part crocodile that would devour your soul, that would cause eternal death. You wanted to live eternal life. Your life on earth was short, but your life in the afterlife was forever, was eternal. So not making that was really disastrous. True damnation was being erased from memory. Whether you believe in reincarnation or you believe in going to heaven or hell, whatever the belief system manifests as, just about every culture is incredibly concerned with how to survive into the afterlife and how our memories continue in that space. Get the ultimate experience on Xbox One.